Hello, my friends. I'm going to be doing something a little different for you today. I am going to be painting on a very large canvas, and I want to create what is called a modeled background, M-O-T-T-L-E-D. And that simply means the colors that you are using um, softly blend into one another. So I want to experiment with these colors that I've chosen on a smaller canvas, and I'll be able to use this for a smaller painting. But I thought I'd put it on video. You might find it enjoyable, and I can see what I did. <laughs> now, there are many products you can use um, to assist you with this. I have this bottle of blending gel from Folk Art. I've had it for a long time, but I, I don't think it goes bad. You could get the same effect with the um, uh, gel medium that you get in the tubs that are popular now, and you could just thin it down with water. But I'm going to give this a try because this is what I have. So you can see the consistency on here. It's thicker than water, but it's thinner than um, than gel medium right out of a bottle. So I'm going to start. I have my one of my favorite brushes, uh, Filbert, the rounded. If you use the flat brush, you can, but you risk getting you know sharp edges on your your colors, and so. I like a filbert for that purpose. So the first thing, I'm just going to put a light coat of this gel medium over the whole thing. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be covering it with paint and we're going to be possibly adding more in our brush. So I just have something other than a very just perfectly dry surface. So I have some of that gel medium in my, um, is it called uh, blending gel? I'm going to, I may call it gel medium, but it's the same thing uh, in my brush. Now I'm going to go into the white and then into this. Oh, my colors I have here are titanium white. Naples yellow, um, uh, green oxide, and burnt umber, or raw umber, I think, and prism, what is this one? Prism violet. So I'm going into the white and then into the Naples yellow. And I'm kind of going to have a light area here and then have it get darker and darker and Okay, so I'm just, and you want to have plenty of paint on your, on your brush. Don't be shy. And I'm applying it in that slip slap motion X's that I've shown you before, but just moving very quickly. I'm going to pick up more white. I actually want it lighter. Paint on the sides a bit, too. So that gel medium is going to give you a lot of time to play with this. All right, now I'm going to, um, I think I'll go into the bit of green. Still with the yellow. My, my palette's going to be a real mess by the time I'm done here. Maybe some, some of this. And now... I'm going to use a, a mop brush, a very soft, fluffy mop brush, and I'm going to gently do the same things and just kind of gently blend where those two colors meet on the canvas. All right. I'm just 
kind of dry, dry brush. And on a paper towel. Okay, let's get a little more green here. More green, I said. That's better. You'll be able to see more easily um, here where the uh, where more of a contrast in colors gets blended out with the mop brush. I'll try that for you. I'm using a very very feather light touch. It's okay to have, you know, let the mop brush um, leave some very gentle brush strokes. I mean, it gives a bit of texture is nice and um, gives some interest to the background. I'm just going to go over the whole thing. All right, let's um, have some fun with some Prism violet and green makes a really a really pretty good color here. I'll put that down here. Or you know, I meant I meant to do that. pick up the brown. Oh well. I want dark down here. Gold. I'm not cleaning my brush at all. I mean, I wouldn't clean it in water, not if you're using a blending gel. And you could use water on here, but it's going to dry on you quickly. So if anything, you just want to wipe it on um, paper towel. All right, let's blend this out. This is kind of a... I'm going to start with the the light into the dark. I don't think I have enough paint on the surface down here. It's all skimpy.
So you've got a lot of open time uh, with this by applying the gel first. Oh, oops, I got a hair on there. Ah! Came from my um, mop brush, I think. Oh, that's a drag. <laughs> oh well, <clears throat> I'll just keep going and um, I think I'll be applying more paint down here anyway. What do I want up here? <clears throat> I think I'll echo this kind of green up there. So the green and the gold, kind of. Pick up some white. Gold and white. It wouldn't be a bad idea to have a couple of mop brushes on hand um, when you go into the darker, you know, save one for the lighter tones and then. Uh, one for the darker, but I don't mind really having some of the some of these dark things picked up into the light area and vice versa. In fact, I think I I'm not sure how I feel about the purple. I'm gonna add more brown down there. Maybe I'll do a little brown and gold. Calling it gold equals yellow. I like that better. I've got to take care of that hair in there, but let me finish. Let me do this first. Holding the brush way back on the ferrule will help you have a very light touch. Trying to snag that hair there. There we go. Come on. There. Little booger. Okay. I'm 
that's a, um, where'd this come from? Oh, that's a decent brush, but it's not actually a, this is a, um, a watercolor wash brush. They actually make mop brushes and, um, I've got a bunch of them. I don't know why I grabbed that one. I'm going to get a, another mop brush and finish this up. Okay. Let's see if this one is any better. Working from the light into the dark. Oh, no, this one is shedding as well. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, I think when I go to uh, do this on the large canvas, I'm going to skip the purple, or not. If I mixed it better with um, the brown, I think it would have been okay. It's not bad. I'm going to give it a light back and forth now with the mop. Very, very light. I, I brushed, I cleaned it off in a paper towel as best I could, and now I'm just going to go quick back and forth, very gentle back and forth. Um, as I said, I'm happy with this right here. Um, I'm going to be using this for a brush painting, but I think this would be pretty for those of you who are into doing the, um, you know, the base coat and then a translucent thing on top. Translucent, uh, let this dry. Get a trans. A medium on and then do a Dutch pour or something on top of that. Maybe I'll try that with this one. See what that looks like. I could keep playing with it and I probably will. But you get the idea. That you can just get a very, very soft, soft background. Of that spot there but 
my whatever I paint on there will probably cover that up. And that right there needs a little work. But anyway, you get the gist. I don't think I need to bring you in for a closer look because there's no detail. <laughs> so, I hope you... Oh, there's a glare. Let me turn that off. That's a little better. I didn't realize that light was so problematic. But there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this little demo, my friends, and I'll see you next time.